let's take a look at some of the features of the data area of Bexis Live. We've got other videos on how to create an account and another video on how to manage your site tree. So we'll presume you've got that all together and some sites into your site tree. And now you want to do something. So the main thing you'll be wanting to do are take a look at dashboards. And we have dashboards at the master list level, group level, and the site, tree, site level. And so at the master list level, it includes all of the sites in your account, everything in your site tree, even in groups that are collapsed. And you can see them all at one place. The group level gives you a group level dashboard just for the sites that are in this particular group. And these are nice. Both of them work about the same way. And one of the nice things about this is that you can sort this by different columns. So here, if I sort by alarms, it brings to the top any of the systems that are in alarm. You can scroll to see some of the parameters over there. And you'll also notice that if we can identify which parameter it is that's causing the alarm, we highlight it in red. So in this case, our wet lab controller has two alarms, one because the ORP is 50 millivolts and one because the temperature is freezing, literally. And so that's highlighted to us. You'll see other ones are. As some things don't create an alarm, perhaps a feed limit timer or something like that, a no-flow alarm. There's nothing to highlight. But if you're looking at this view and you're wanting to dig deep into it, you just need to click on that link there and you'll go directly to that site's dashboard. And here you'll see the alarm, sure enough, ORP low alarm, temperature low alarm, and they are also highlighted in red. Now, if you're looking at this and you're saying, hmm, I really ought to change some things, yes, you can change some of these parameters here. You see this in the upper right-hand corner at the access level? Yep, it's view only right now, but that's a button. And if you click that and put in your access code, you'll now notice that these parameters become links. And so that now allows us to change these values. If that low alarm is too low for us, not low enough, maybe we come here and we'll change it to 400. Or maybe we change our set point. We say, let's change our set point to 350 millivolts. Well, that's out of range because you can't set your set point to lower than your low alarm point. We all know that. So maybe maybe we should be a little less uh, aggressive with that. Let's just change it to 720. So that's a nice feature. And if we come back to our dashboard over here, I did want to point out one other thing, that if you sort one direction and you want to go back, just click the site. Site doesn't sort alphabetically, it sorts to the order that the sites are listed in your site tree. So some of the other things we can do here is we can keep personal notes. Just a personal note for you to reference when you come back, it's just there for your benefit. We can run reports, and there's a few site supports, site reports that are available for you. Let's run a summary report. Oh, let's go back to, oh, I forget when all everything happened. Let's see here. Let's try this. Since this is a wet wall controller in our lab, sometimes the there's not too much going on with them. There we go. There's some things going on. So you see these reports now will give you a summary of how many alarms during that period were there, list them all, how long they were active, any parameter changes that were made during that period or identified. Test kit log, test kit entries can be put in either by manually entering through the keypad or we have an interface to uh, spin touch devices and that will be identified here and then a graph of the various readings are also shown there. Okay, 
So you can run reports, there's a few others, there'll be more coming in the future too. Then you can also take a look at graphs. And so for each of the inputs, you can get the value graphed like this. You'll see the current low and high alarm, alarm points identified for your reference there. And if we want to go back a little bit and back to the ninth and look at three days worth, we can do that. Okay. Then one other thing I want to point out here is there's some menus over here, some little ellipses menus. And if you click that, you can actually export this image here. And this one at the top here actually allows you to export the data in a CSV format, which then can be opened by Excel. Okay, so that's a quick tour of the features of Bexis Live for sites and groups. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's also a group report as well. It works the same way, you can run that, and what it will do is it will summarize the, everything within your group. So, enjoy your time with Bexis Live.